Welcome back to your channel, Rick Mega. Myself, Upashana Pandey. I'm a second professional MBBS student from Nilratan Sekar Medical College and Hospital. In this video, I have picked up the femur and will determine its site and will hold this in the anatomical position. So let me first hold this in the anatomical position and will then decide how to hold this, right? So this comes out to be my right femur. Let us decide how to do this. The femur is a long bone. A long bone is represented by an upper end, a lower end and an intervening shaft. The upper end is denoted by the head of the femur, the greater trochanter, the lesser trochanter, the intertrochanteric crest and if we turn it around we will find the intertrochanteric line. So these are all the features of the upper end of the femur. And let's look at the lower end. The lower end is denoted by two condyles, medial and lateral. We will find out which one is the medial and which one is the lateral. And posteriorly we will find this intertrochanteric in sorry intercondylar fossa and if we turn this around we will find the articular surface for the patella and this is our shaft so we have till now we have find find out the upper end and the lower end now we need to look for the medial and the lateral side this head of the femur, which represents two-third of the sphere, articulates with the acetabulum of the hip bone. The acetabulum was facing laterally, right? So, in order to fit into the acetabulum, this head of the femur should be facing medially. Okay? So, we have find out the medial, the lateral side, the upper end and the lower end. Now we need to look for the anterior and the posterior. Before that, let's look into the borders and the surfaces of the shaft of the femur. This is our shaft. We are having a medial border, a lateral border and a posterior border. Okay? So, we will be having a anterior surface, a medial surface and a lateral surface. How to find out the posterior border? The posterior border is represented by this prominent crest. You see this prominent crest that is continuous from this gluteal tuberosity where the gluteus maximus gets the insertion. Okay. From this gluteal tuberosity, the linea aspera, the most extensive posterior border that extends down almost till the upper two third of the femur. So, whenever we find the linea aspera, we can say this is our posterior side. Okay. So, this is our medial side. The head of the femur points to the medial. The linea aspera points to the posterior and the upper end points to the superior end. So, in order to hold the anatomical position, we will need to keep all this in mind and let us hold this in the anatomical position. Once more. So, this is our head of the femur. This is our greater trochanter. We will turn this around to get the lesser trochanter. Here, our lesser trochanter. This is our intertrochanteric crest. Intertrochanteric line will get this in front. This is our lower end. These are our condyles. And if we turn to the posterior side, we will get the linear aspera. So, let us hold this in anatomical position. This head of the femur should be facing medially and upward. Okay? And this greater trochanter this will be facing laterally and these are our condyles this is our medial condyle which is in line with the head of the femur and this is our linear aspera this will be facing posteriorly so we have got this this is our right femur and there is a trick 
Just balance it with your index finger of the same side. You will get the anatomical position of the femur. So this is our anatomical position of the femur. Take care and let me know which sided femur do you possess in your bone set. Till then, take care. Ta-ta. Bye-bye.